What's up guys, welcome back to the GS specials. I'll be taking you through OGR to OGR file conversion. Now don't be scared of OGR and don't let that word scare you because you'll see how easy it is as you go along. So, we're going to do a basic conversion of, um, this time I'll do GeoJSON to shapefile and if you are to convert a file from shapefile to GeoJSON, You'll first type in OGR to OGR, of course, to call out the library. And then the format you want to convert it to. And then the name of the output file and the name of the input file. But in our case, we are going to switch things up. We are going to convert it from GeoJSON to shapefile. Let's go ahead. For example, if you want to convert our GeoJSON to a shapefile, first you type in OGR to OGR. Then, if you don't specify the format, by default it is sent to a shapefile format. So let's say for example I don't specify the format and just uh, input the name of my output file. Let's say I'll call it output.shp and the name of my input file which was houses.geojson. Now, if I go to the folder where I'm storing this, you'll see that um, a shape file has been created with these four kinds of uh, data sets that make up a shape file. For example, if you want to convert this to a geo package format and we want to specify the format, so it will be OGR to OGR, and then we'll just say output dot geo package. We'll need to specify the format, which is now a geo package, geo package, and the format is this. And then the name of our input data set. So if we go to our folder, we'll see that a geo package has been created. Now, back to OGR info, let's check the information about the newly created files. For example, OGR info and uh, the output dot shp. So you see it's an SC shape file with an output of point and if we check on the layer information so OGR info and then a summary guys wait you'll find this tutorial easy if you have watched OGR info tutorial so if you have not first go ahead and check out OGR info then come back to this so SO is a summary and then the name of the file and then the name of the layer so it's, a, it's an S3 shape file um, with a layer name of output. Output and 20 features, coordinate system, EPSG, of 4326. Let's also check the information for the geo package that we created. So output dot geo package, and then we'll just give it that layer name. Um, sorry, so couldn't fetch requested layer output, but this is the name of the package and this is the driver geo package. So let's try and see without giving it the layer so that you can have a summary of what layers exist. So the layer that exists in a geo package is called houses. So what you have noticed is when you convert from GeoJSON to shapefile, it also changes the layer name. Um, but when you convert it from GeoJSON to something like a Geo package, the layer name is retained, the house's layer name. So let's just check this layer. Yeah, so that's it, guys. And guys, if these tutorials are helpful to you in any way, consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to give this video a like. Bye.